I had my first colonoscopy about 10 years ago. Uh, it was pretty uh, non-problematic. I had a follow-up five years later, the one late last year. Um, the doctor came to see me after the procedure and told me that he had been surprised to find a really large uh, polyp in the cecum. Patrick presented to me with um, a dilemma where he was diagnosed to have a polyp in his colon. And despite two attempts uh, by a gastroenterologist uh, who's very competent, it was not possible to remove it completely. The cecum is the beginning of the large intestine. The cecum is uh, very thin-walled as compared to the rest of the colon. I met with Dr. Shukla and uh, he explained to me that uh, he and his colleagues had been working on a new technique. And if we can avoid uh, doing a formal surgical procedure for a polyp that would really save uh, him uh, from going through a major operation, hospitalization, and the risks associated with uh, surgery. Within the U.S., more than 25,000 surgeries are being done for benign polyps. And that's a, that's a staggering number. So for many, many years, my partners and I, we were working on whether we can reduce performing major surgeries for benign polyps and uh, the dilumen was uh, conceived and created uh, at uh, the Cornell Medical Center in New York Presbyterian Hospital. I didn't uh, know for sure that it was going to work for me because uh, I had learned that uh, my polyp was in a very difficult to get at place. This is the dilumen. The colonoscope goes in here and exits through this end. The dilumen has two balloons at the uh, end of it and this actually is a great enabler uh, for us to perform uh, the polypectomies. We also have the ability to push out this balloon and that actually creates a zone of stabilization. This is a view through the colonoscope um, and this is now the balloon which you saw uh, on the device. After it's inflated, we can actually pull the polyp. We can see the polyp here, and the polyp is being delivered uh, using the uh, rods of the uh, dilumen. So that's the polyp now hanging down, and it's in a very good position for us to actually take. I came prepared to either have a very brief one-day um, exercise or to have surgery and be in for several days. I didn't know what the outcome would be. Uh, after I recovered, uh, I learned the good news that the procedure had been uh, successful and that I could go home uh, that day. We are actually shifting the paradigm, especially in cases where you don't need to cut a piece of the colon or the bowel out. This is a complete changer in that. In Patrick's case, the prognosis is excellent because the polyp was completely removed. It was benign. I've had another colonoscopy six months later and I'm happy to say there was no regrowth and uh, now my next uh, appointment is three years from now.